Okay everybody, welcome to this video. In this video today, we're going to look at the parental controls that are available to you for Netflix. Uh, let's go and log into my demo account. Uh, the URL I'm going to visit is netflix.com slash your account. Uh, and I'm doing this on a web site or on a web page on my laptop, predominantly because I actually have more controls when I use their website, not via the app. So let's go and click sign in. I'm going to type my username and password. Conveniently, that's already remembered, so I simply just click sign in. And here are the account details for me. Let me just scroll down to the profiles. You can see that we've got four different profiles here. One which is uh, an all maturity ratings account. One which is the primary account, which is the one I'm using, which doesn't have, you'll note there's no little lock symbol. And then there's two kid accounts or ch child accounts that are later down here. So let's go now and create a child profile on my Netflix account. I'm going to go back up here to the little drop arrow and I'm going to tick or click the bit, the section that says manage profiles. And under manage profiles, I'm going to click the plus button to add a profile. I'm going to creatively call this child. I'm going to tick the box that says child and you'll note it says if selected, this profile will only see programs and films rated for ages 12 and under. Happy with that. We're going to click continue. The profile is created already, which is awesome. If we tick or click select the little pencil option for this, you can see what we can do for the maturity settings. We can go and edit that specifically if we wanted to remove PG, for example. But also it's important to call out the autoplay controls here. If um, you've experienced difficulties transitioning away from watching TV shows or indeed uh, Netflix auto plays the next show and you've said something along the lines of your time will be up at the end of this episode, then you don't want Netflix auto playing the next episode. So the beautiful thing is, is you can control that here. We're going to turn off the auto play. We're going to, ha I'm happy with the rest of these settings for now. Let's go and save that. I'm going to click done on the manage profile bit. And then I'm actually going to log into the child account. You can see it's got the kids in the in the name there. And you'll note none of the suggestions here are um, anything higher than PG. For example, if I was to search for Stranger Things, it doesn't come up. So that's it as far as the child account creation is concerned. But there are some other things that need to be considered for the account creation. So let's go back to my account management. I'm going to log in as my adult account. I've logged in as the primary account holder. I'm selecting the little down arrow and I'm going to select account here. Let's go to the account sections and down here under profile and parental controls. What I don't want is on any device for my child who's using, I don't want them to be able to just simply select my profile and then have access to all maturity ratings. So let's go ahead and change the profile lock to not only be on, but also what we don't want kids doing is creating another profile, which by default then has all the maturity ratings. So we want to turn off or, or lock access to both of those things. And you could do that from the primary account or profile in your Netflix profile. If we expand this one here and we go and click change on the profile lock. I'm going to type my password here, that's fine. And you can see I'm now going to require a PIN to access my profile, which means there's a four digit PIN to actually sign into Netflix. Let me go and type a PIN for that. Of course, in real world, you wouldn't use something so easily guessable. And again, require a PIN to add new profiles, which is another important tick box. Make sure you do that. And this means that your kids won't be able to log into your profile and see your adult content and also won't be able to add a new profile, which by default can see adult content. So let's go and save that. And that's as simple as it gets. So you need to make sure that you, your all maturity ratings profiles have the little lock symbols against them. And from a child perspective, you've created a child's account and you've got those maturity ratings viewing restrictions for example here is g or pg only if we go to the child account here 
we go to viewing restrictions log in as my adult on my primary profile and here we're going to enter the name Pepper and then you'll note it automatically selects or finds the names of the shows specifically goodbye Pepper Pig so we can now go ahead and save that and those effect those changes should take effect immediately so if I now go and log into the child profile again selecting that here in the web page if I scroll down I should find that Pepper Pig is removed from the list immediately which is good news for all those Peppa Pig fans if I even try to search for it it is gone completely so thank you Netflix for that amazing feature so look that's it as far as Netflix is concerned and parental controls uh, I hope the video has been helpful and we'll see you in the next video bye for now